Hell, man, I am back again. I'm back again. I've been getting so many calls or, you know, requests from my friends and my students. They said, man, when you going to start posting your videos again? You ain't posted a video in so long, you know, so I so I, I, I took a big break and posting videos and stuff like that. You know, I got busy and then putting it off. But, you know, hey, I am back. So, yep, I'm back posting my videos. So here I am, you know, sitting back on a Monday, doing what I do, chilling, and I'm watching, you know, videos and stuff like that on uh, on uh, self-defense videos, so I'm going to give my opinion on certain things that I see across the MMA martial arts and Krav Maga world. Man, it's good to be back, you know, posting my videos. I'm going to do a little different this time because, you know, this YouTube, Facebook thing gets a little shaky and stuff like that. You know, you put something on Facebook, everybody watches it, but then it gets lost. You put something on you. It's, real, it, it, it's rough. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be posting stuff to Facebook and I'm going to be posting stuff to YouTube, you know, so wherever it is you see it, you know, you see it, you know, hopefully you like the video, hopefully, you know, you uh, press the like, hopefully you'll send me a comment. If you're on YouTube, hopefully you will uh, subscribe to my channel, you know, like the video, you know, do what you do. Anyway, today we're going to talk about, um, you know, self-defense training. People say self-defense training, people say self-protection training, whole other video. We're just going to keep it, you know, at the self-defense training for right now. Self-defense training and uh, five common mistakes that I see people uh, make while training in or for self-defense. Five, five common mistakes that people make when training in or for self-defense. All right. They may not be in any particular order, but here we go. So the first common mistake that I see people make when they're training, you know, uh, in a for self-defense is not taking into consideration the fact that you're going to get hit. Not taking into consideration the fact that you're going to get hit. People don't take that into consideration. And a very famous uh, philosopher by the name of Iron Mike Tyson says, everybody got a plan until they get punched in the face. Oh, you can be an expert in your first self-defense training. You can know everything about it. You know, if you do uh, from a guy, you know, kind of pluck. If you do, um, uh, you know, uh, taekwondo, hapkido, you know, jujitsu, you know, your arm bars, you know, your inside, outside defenses, you know, you know how to do all that stuff. But if everybody got a plan until they get punched in the face. That's why I tell students, I know y'all heard in other videos, it's important to spar. You need to know what it feels like to get hit. Because if you don't, you're gonna go, it's gonna be a shock to you and all that training gonna go out the window because you're gonna feel that pain. Okay, so um, yeah, you got you, you need to know what it feels like to get punched in the face. You need to cons take the cons into consideration that you're going to get hit. You ain't going to be able to do all these dazzling, you know, moves and think they're not going to swing back. All right. Um, it's a good chance that they're going to swing back. They may even swing first. All right. So that's one. So uh, another um, thing that I think people make the mistake of doing when they're training in or for self-defense is they train at a very fast pace instead of training slow. This is big. I see it all the time. Is people do their defenses. Choo, 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 choo. Boom, 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 boom. Ah! They do all this very, very fast, fast, fast things, and they never um, are able to uh, uh, slow it down. Slowing it down does so many good things. Number one, you get that muscle memory. You don't really get the muscle memory as well if you're going fast. You get that good muscle memory from doing slow work, okay? You learn better. You learn more. Um, uh, it's safer. It's safer. You know, if you're, going, if you're doing all fast training, you may hurt yourself. You may hurt your training partner, okay? Nothing, nothing, nothing in life that you do, you learn fast first. You always have to learn slow. So uh, that's another huge training mistake that I see people make. They never slow it down. Learn slow. Train slow. Learn slow. Practice slow. 
okay? Which brings me to the next thing, my third thing, and that is people practice slow, but they never practice fast. They train slow, but they never practice fast. So this is also a mistake. I have made it. I just made it, as a matter of fact, because I always said that if you can do it slow, you can do it fast. And if you can do it, but you can, if you can do it fast, that doesn't mean you can do it right. Okay, well, that's not true. If you can do it fast, that don't mean you can do it right. But if you can do it slow, that don't mean you can do it fast. I found out that the hard way. Last year, I trained for my, my second Dan um, Krav Maga uh, uh, belt, my second Dan Black belt in Krav Maga. And I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't pass it. And I'm going to tell you, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong, okay? I trained for the whole year at a very slow pace very slow learning pace. I wanted my, my technique to be sound. And I trained slow, I practiced slow. Now I did a lot of cardio and conditioning and stuff like that, work on the side to offset my training, but I never trained the, the, the techniques in a, in, in a fast pace. I was told that, I was talking to one of my uh, chief, my head instructors um, out in Columbia, uh, Jeff Mount, and Jeff Mount said, yeah, practice slow, that's good, but you gotta practice fast too. And I heard him, but I never did it. You know, um, so by the time I got to the test, you know, um, I, I'm, I did slow work, and then boom, they say go, and I turned that bitch up. I was going about 110 miles an hour, and I was missing. My timing was off, my everything was off, and by the time I figured out what I was doing wrong, it was too late. I was already too too far behind. It was a disaster, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot. So, you know, if you Steph Curry and you got that ball, he practiced slow, but he had, at, at some point in time before the game, Steph Curry going to practice at full speed. You know, he's going to practice having somebody put that pressure on. He's going to run some scrimmages because you got to speed it up. You just because just you can do it slow don't mean you can do it fast. You have to keep on slowly increasing your speed to your level of proficiency, okay? So that's another training mistake people make. They, they, um, they practice slow but never practice fast. So what do we got? Um, the people don't take into consideration that they're going to get hit. People train fast instead of training slow. They train slow instead of tra training fast. And another thing that they do is they don't include fitness in their training. Okay. Yes, you got to include fitness in your training. Now, I don't care how you do it. If you do some, or where you do an offset um, stuff on the side, you know, um, but you have to include fitness in your training, you know, um, because if you're not, you know, if you're not fit, you're giving yourself a disadvantage. Look at the fighters. I mean, you got some really top-notch fighters out here. And what happens when they show up and they ain't in shape and they go against somebody who is in shape? I used to train at, uh, at Ron Nagas' gym up in Israel. I trained there, um, uh, I think, a couple of summers ago. And on the wall, it says, um, conditioning beach class. You know, you got to be in shape. You got to get yourself in the right condition to fight. You know, so um, a lot of I guess people call me and say, look, I don't really into the fitness part. I just want to learn some techniques, a couple of techniques to get me out of situations. I say, no, nah, man, you got it all wrong. You got to intertwine those things. Those things are married. You need to include, not including what, what sport, combat sport or any other sport do you know they do without a fitness program or basketball, you know, fitness, football. Fitness, boxing, fitness, MMA, fitness, you know, um, uh, uh, sports karate fighting, fitness. You have to, so self-defense, you got to include fitness in your training. So that's very important, okay? Now, and here is the last thing um, that I uh, want to say. What do we go over? We said you got to consider the um, uh, the punch. You know, you got you to gotta, you gotta train uh, um uh, you train tr train slow and not fast. You gotta train fast and not always slow. You have to um, include fitness in your training. And last but not least, and this is a big one. That's why I say this one last. People train self defense as if the bad guy doesn't know how to fight, and that's a mistake. People train self defense as if the person that they are um, dealing with is going to have no clue on how to fight. As soon as they start fighting, they assume he's going to like fold up and just let them do what you're going to do. And that's not true. Okay. 
most bad guys I know, they know how to fight. That's why they started it in the first place, okay? Because they know how to do it. You know, um, you ain't going to be like the first person that they ever got into it with or the first person they ever decide to start something with. You know, um, you ain't the first, okay? Matter of fact, I like to assume the person that I'm fighting is a goddamn ninja. I, I, I assume they can fight. And that way, I go into it prepared. Let's go back to sports, any sport. Any, it, 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 what happens when you underestimate your opponent? If you underestimate your opponent, it's usually not good for you. I don't care how good you are. You do not underestimate your opponent. You know, you go underestimating your opponent and bad things happen. The greatest of all times have done it. Muhammad Ali had under, he'd done some underestimating before, and it, and it didn't end well for him. You know, um, you, and all of them. You know, you got to assume that they're good, and that way you're prepared. If they're not, easy day. If they're good... If they are, then, uh, you know, you're prepared. All right, so I know I went a little long. And so, like, I'm looking at my time. It's like 11 minutes. Half of y'all probably already signed off by now. But, you know, it was a long time before I did a video. I try to condense them down to, like, five to six, seven minutes. But, you know, this one kind of got drawn out. But um, either way, you know, I'm back, baby. Miss My Opinion Mondays. You know, stay tuned for my Fix It Fridays. You know, um, and we're going we gonna to get back on the line, all right? So um, make sure you don't make those mistakes. But if you don't agree and you do like to train in the ways I said that, you know, the ways I said that you shouldn't train or you don't want to add them to the resume, just train the way you're going to train. For whatever you do, do it to, best, to the best of your ability. Peace! I'm out. Oh! Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or press like because I got more.